We're here at the Tonys. What does this all mean to you? It means it's so interesting because in your daily life, you already love and admire these people. I've been so lucky to be a part of this community for almost 16 years now. But you do look around at these artists that when you see their shows, they're these spectacular creatures and you think, how are you doing what you're doing? And then it all comes down to a morning like today and you say, oh, you know what? You're just a working, there's no just. You are proud working actor like me, making it happen eight times a week, doing it truthfully, and I honor you. There's been such a, a packed season, tons of great musicals, tons of great plays, um, so I wish I could see far more people in these rooms. Um, but the honor that we carry with us, because we know what we do. I don't think any other walk of life, I lovingly call everybody else civilians, because <laughs> There is this sort of understanding between the theatrical community that we know what it takes and I'm just, I'm blessed and lucky and I honor everybody. You're playing Cher. I'm playing Cher. What? Still it comes out of my mouth and it feels wonderfully foreign to me. I know. Um, you well know that I kept saying thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't think I'm your girl. And thank God I, I Jason Moore and our Rick Ellis who I adore kept kept entering the door and saying, please just take a peek, because I was so scared. And interestingly enough, it parallels the, the theme of our story, facing your fears and moving forward. They're not gonna go away. Your fears are always gonna be there. So you might as well face them and say, not today, I'm moving forward. And I did that with this piece. And now on the other side, I look back and go, thank you God that I was able to say yes. If you could tell your younger self, you're going to be nominated for a Tony, you're going to be starring on Broadway, what would your younger self say? The interesting thing is, I think my brave 11-year-old self would have said, of course you were. I look at myself now at 46 and say, I don't know, should I? Is this my last one? Maybe this is... So the doubt, I think, starts creeping in. The older we get, the more rejection, the, the life that kind of wears on us. But that 11-year-old who wanted to do this would look at me and say, yes, this is all we've ever wanted. And again, to bring it back to the Share Show, that's the beauty of Michaela Diamond, Teal Wicks, and myself playing it. We get to look at each other and say, this was your dream, kid. Go, be on Broadway.